I had the pleasure of looking through hundreds of photographs to find the ones for our Churchill and the Crown exhibition. And for me, it's those really iconic moments from history that I particularly like. So one of my favourites was the moment that Her Majesty the Queen returns from Kenya after the death of her father. And so she has arrived back to London Airport and she's descending the stairs and Winston Churchill is the very per first person to greet her at the foot of those stairs. So at the moment when her life changed, when she became our Queen, Winston Churchill was right there and the very first person that, with whom she engaged in that new role. So I think those really iconic, important moments for me are my favourites. As curator, my job is to first of all come up with the idea. So Church on the Crown was something I was really keen to do because of this year being the Platinum Jubilee. And in addition to that, I undertake the preliminary research, so sourcing of images in this case, and also I then write all the accompanying text, so the stories that are born out of those images. And I should say that I had another team member from the house team helping me in that archive research in the early stages. And then another team comes in to support who were involved with design and production and creation of the actual display itself. So they're the ones who take my ideas and my pictures and my words and then convert them into something that you can actually see when you visit Chartwell. So it's a real team effort and it's always such a pleasure to do these exhibitions. I did watch The Crown, as I know um, millions of people around the world did. I don't think it influenced my decision to create this exhibition because that was more the fact that it was the Platinum Jubilee. And so I wanted Chartwell to do something to pay homage to Churchill's relationship with the monarchy. But of course, it's interesting that so many people have seen The Crown and therefore there's perhaps more of an awareness than there might otherwise be that Churchill was uh, the Queen's first Prime Minister. So I think what's interesting is even though it didn't inspire the idea per se, it's really interesting having our visitors coming and making comparisons and referencing what they saw in the programme as well. So it's lovely to have so many people come here with that knowledge existing and then able to learn more here at Churchill's home. I think Churchill's relationship with the monarchy is really interesting in that it changed so much over the course of his career. When he started as an MP, Queen Victoria was still on the throne, so it was at the very end of the Victorian era. And by the end of his career, you're talking about an elder statesman who is advising a 25-year-old new monarch. So it's sometimes hard to apply something to the entirety of Churchill's career. But I think that one element being that Churchill was a historian, he had this very strong sense of the past and what came before in terms of shaping where we should go. And monarchy to him was a constant. It was a stabilising influence on Britain. And so that is one element that throughout his career is something that comes to the fore in his thinking. So that to me says a lot about Winston Churchill. When I was thinking about curating Churchill and the Crown, there was a thought around how far back do I go? So we start by touching on the fact that Churchill was an MP when Queen Victoria was on the throne. But you could even go further back than that. So for example, Churchill's ancestor, John Churchill, the first Duke of Marlborough, knew Queen Anne very well, as depicted in the film The Favourite. So how far back do you go? Um, but for me, I wanted the Queen to be the focus, which did mean that some of the images of the earlier monarchs um, had to go by the wayside. So, for example, there were some interesting ones of Churchill and George V, but they're, even though in the same image they're often quite far apart, or maybe the image resolution isn't as strong as needed for this display. So um, we tended to focus mostly on Her Majesty the Queen and Churchill, which meant the early monarchs weren't as represented. Um, maybe that's one for a future exhibition, though.
while Her Majesty the Queen herself didn't come to Chartwell, she did visit the Churchills at 10 Downing Street. And a number of other royals have been here. So, for example, in the years after the Second World War, both the Queen Mother and Princess Margaret came to Chartwell. And more recently, we were very fortunate to have Prince Charles come a few years ago, and I had the great privilege of giving him a tour. So that was a really special day. And I would say as well that we have representation of the monarchy throughout Chartwell. So, for example, I'm here in the study, and we have two photographs of Her Majesty the Queen in here. So though she didn't come to Chartwell, her presence is very much felt, even to this day. So I'm very fortunate that in my job um, I am tasked with having a, a thorough knowledge of Sir Winston Churchill. So for me there weren't too many surprises in terms of historical discoveries. But I think one thing that struck me, which you only really get once you start looking at the photographs, is how the pair look at each other. It's such an intangible thing, it's not something you can necessarily explain. But with an image, you can just see how relaxed two people are in each other's company. And whether they're laughing together or in more serious discussion, the fact that they can look each other straight in the eye and you can see that there's a rapport there. So for me, being able to use photographs as the medium for this was really, really important and helped convey that story. I, at any given moment, have at least a dozen different ideas bubbling away as to what might await exhibition-wise here at Chartwell. Uh, one, for example, that I'm keen to explore is the idea of Churchill's style. So his image was such an important part of him politically, you know, the cigar, the V for victory, the hats. So maybe having something looking particularly at his clothing and his style that could be one, for example. But actually, I'd be really interested to hear what people watching this think. What stories would you like me to talk about through an exhibition? So yeah, if you have any ideas, do comment and let us know.